I'm midshipman second class Joshua Rowe. And I'm midshipman second class James Durr. And we are both part of the Carnegie Mellon NROTC unit in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The reason I took up the four-year NROTC scholarship wasn't so I could go to college or get an amazing education. I took it because I wanted what only the military could offer. I wanted to express myself through the art of music. I personally uh, wanted to go to college to dance. Um, I turned down a full scholarship to the Juilliard for ribbon dancing, but uh, I just didn't feel like it would be the right fit for me there. Yeah, I said no to UC Berkeley, NYU, um, a couple other places. It just wasn't perfect for me. So luckily uh, I checked the mail one morning after a solid four hours of interpretive dance workout and I saw a letter from Carnegie Mellon NROTC. I opened it up and I saw that I had a golden opportunity in my hands. I had the chance to perform as one half of the epic emo metal band, Chocolate Thunder. Chocolate Thunder. It's been true love ever since. Hey, easy with that. So we've really just taken off in terms of skill and technique. Uh, just the other day, I was asked to play lead guitar for Miley Cyrus' band. Just one more opportunity I never would have had without that scholarship. Wait, what? You want us, you want us to what? You want us to play a song right here, totally improvised. Uh, I mean, I'm completely unprepared. And my voice isn't even warmed up. <clears throat> well, I mean, now, now it's warmed up. But let's, let's do, do it. it. I like that. Yeah. Good, good flow. Time to make fun of the first class Cause you've been a real pain in the ass There's only one, two, three, four, fourteen in all And you somehow always seem to drop the ball Let's get some people out of the way Diambra's really too boring for us to say But it makes one stop and ponder If he's really a 40-year-old imposter But don't ask for Joan, she's way too quiet As off she's been practically silent Lowe's too busy scraping eye on the skin of her teeth. Alpha Company Commander never looks so bleak. And if you talk to Flynn, you probably won't understand. He mixes up his letters like he's from Afghanistan. And Geiger's out in the woods already. Don't worry, he'll be back with some stupid story. Heilman's busy buffing out his dome. And a Whitmore sitting in his house all alone with his Mr. Engineer Trophy. He's so cool, but no one sees. So just how old is our bat -com? Who holds the answer to this song? Maybe if Ensign Lee came around. Yeah. He's crazy and can never be found. Hey, there's people in the bat cave. Let's ask them if they know the answer to our problem. It's just I'm Atari writing some dumb emails. Crestos is busy painting her nails. Maybe she knows where Jackson is. We could get the answer from that ginger kid. But then again, she's always been a slow learner. Only good for handing over Exo to Werner. 
Werner himself isn't even that special He's got tiny hands like in that VK commercial And nothing says years of family tradition Like tree trunk legs on a tiny Asian He's a tiny Asian With those big old legs Those big old legs on his little body How many pull up do you think he could do? Probably doesn't know He probably doesn't know I think I might have our solution This just might clear up all this confusion We just ask his roommates, Moesfini and Jones Those three stick together like the Rolling Stones But then again, Mo only speaks in grunts And Jones is apparently kind of a dunce so who knows whether Diamond's middle age He could just have a goofy face He could just have a goofy face Oh, we're getting breathy with him Oh, baby Oh Is that good? Was that good? Is that what you guys wanted? How about that? Alright Midshipman Jackson, Midshipman Head You guys are next